All right, so I'm going to be giving you guys seven reasons why CDs are still better than streaming platforms, any streaming platform out there, and why you should still buy CDs and use them in 2023. Even though nobody is using them, I think I know like one person who still uses, well, besides myself, obviously, I think I know like one person who still uses CDs and that's because their car stereo is broken and they can only use CDs. All right. Now, starting with the first reason, the first reason would be the audio quality difference between a CD and between any streaming platform out there. So right here, I'm going to use Spotify and YouTube as an example compared to CDs on Spotify. There is a setting where you can change the audio quality at what you're streaming it on right here. I have normal and very high, but I believe there's a few other options, but I just kept two just to keep it simple. So the normal setting on Spotify lets you stream music at 96 kilobits per second the very high setting which is the maximum setting it lets you stream music at 320 kilobits per second that's pretty good on youtube and this would be on youtube music of course but it still uses youtube videos so on youtube the normal setting lets you stream music at 128 kilobits per second the high setting lets you stream at 256 kilobits per second. Obviously, the higher the number, the higher the quality. So 320 is pretty good. And that's actually the highest that an MP3 file can go. But what a lot of people don't know is that a CD is actually 1411 kilobits per second my thing is is if you want the full experience and the best experience then why not just you listen to it at the highest quality possible especially if let's say you have a very expensive headset and especially if you have a sound system in your car or a sound system in your house let's say you have a whole sound system done in your car and you got a subwoofer then you're going to want to use that stuff to its maximum advantage and put a cd in there why wouldn't you you know all right now the second reason my second reason would be that there's a lot of music that's not available on streaming platforms now on youtube yeah youtube has everything okay but like i just said mentioned in the first reason a lot of that stuff is low quality and a lot of that stuff you don't even know where it came from they could have got like the lowest quality one because anybody could post on YouTube, anybody. And on Spotify, and I know a lot of people have experienced this, they heard a song somewhere and it's not available on Spotify. Guarantee you it's on a CD, on an album, or a compilation somewhere. Now, okay, nowadays, since nobody cares about physical media or cares about CDs, now all these artists are, a lot of these artists, I was not all of them, but a lot of these artists are just putting their they'll drop a song they'll make a song drop it on the same day and they'll be like oh out now on every streaming platform well okay yeah stuff like that is most likely not going to be on a cd but let's be honest if there's if their stuff is not on a cd that's because they're probably not a good artist because they're definitely not good enough to get a record deal and put their stuff out there on cd as well but CDs are definitely, more than definitely, still coming out. I believe the newest CD I ever bought was Ice Cube's last album. I think that came out 2018. And I didn't even purchase that one online. I actually went to a record store here in Pasadena on Colorado Boulevard. And they had it in stock. They had like a couple copies. So CDs are more than definitely still in circulation, especially for an artist as big as Ice Cube. Now, reason number three, and I feel like a lot of people are, might disagree with me on this one, or they might say I'm just full of it or whatever. But I honestly, truly feel like there's a psychological factor that goes into buying a CD. I really do feel like when you buy a CD, there's just nothing, there's nothing, there's no streaming platform, nothing on the internet or nothing on a screen that could really imitate that when you have that, when you actually have it in your hands. 
And I feel like this honestly, psychologically, look, I'm not no neurologist, psychologicalist, I don't study biologist or whatever, whatever uh, term, whatever term people study psychology for, right? I feel like when I buy a CD, the music just sounds better. And I'm not even talking about the audio quality um, that we were talking about on the first reason. Like, I'm just saying it just sounds better. And it's just like, there's no, there's no other feeling that can imitate when you got the CD in your hand. You got all the artwork on there too. Now, my fourth reason. With CDs, you can make a digital copy of every CD you have. So with all my CDs, I rip copies of all of them. And yes, they're in the full quality, the WAV format. And another thing too, is that it'll have all the correct metadata too. It'll have the artist, the title of the song, the contributing artist, the album, the year that it came out, et cetera. You guys get the point. So now because of this, if I really wanted to, I can just get rid of all my CDs and I'll still have them in the full quality, put it onto a USB, put it in my car and just play it like that. Now on to number five, which I briefly went over with the psychological factor, but this has all of the artwork, the album photos, this has all the credits and all that things that are kind of a bit difficult to find online. You won't only see all these pictures online, but you'll see if once you buy a CD, you just, you see a whole lot more than just the album cover. Like when you go onto a streaming service, all you see is the album cover. But when you buy a CD, there's artwork on the CD. You pull out the album cover and it's a whole booklet with like stuff you can open. And then there's a cover on the back with the track list, things like that. This one, this reason's pretty short, self-explanatory. Now, number six, and this one is another very strong reason, discovering new songs. And I can't even like, Put, I can't even count how many songs that I've discovered that I liked just because I bought the CD because I heard one song I like on that CD then I bought that CD and then I just heard a bunch of new songs that I liked and I think the best example of this for me personally would be the LAX uh, album by The Game he had an album um, and on the bonus CD of this, on the deluxe version of this album, it was actually, it's called Big Dreams, right? That's the name of the track. It's the first track on the bonus CD. And this game was, this song was actually in a pretty well-known game called Midnight Club Los Angeles. One of my favorite songs ever, right? I bought the CD just for that song, just because I like that song so much. And when I first, when I heard, after I heard this album, even the bonus disc too, this album was a complete, for me personally, obviously, this album was a complete 10 out of 10, ended up adding each and every song to my playlist. And that, because when you buy a CD, even if you just like one song, you're like, okay, well, damn, you know, I put $10 into this. You know, I kind of like, it would kind of be a waste if I just used it for one song. You know, I got to play the whole, the whole thing through. So regardless, you're going to at least listen to the whole thing at least one time and find out and find some new music that you like because I find oftentimes even for me when I use streaming services we tend to curate the music to ourselves or maybe just replay the same song and we don't want to go out and listen to something new and now seven my last reason and this is honestly going to go both ways but it's convenience and I know this might sound stupid because I have over like Man, I don't even know. I have like 200 CDs. I think I carry like maybe 20, maybe 20, 25 in my car. So I know you're probably thinking, how is that convenient if you have to switch out? You literally have to pull out a little box, get the CD you want, or get the CD that's already in there, put it back in, and then get the other CD out, put it in. Now, yeah, you can get like a booklet and just take out all the discs and put it in in the binder or not a booklet, uh, excuse me, a binder that just has disc slots and put it in that. 
that I would strongly not recommend or how do I say like I would vote against that absolutely because you're throwing away a lot of artwork and you're honestly also scratching the CD when you put it in those binders and stuff you're throwing away a lot of artwork that could honestly go up in value one day when that CD you know they're not they're not pressing uh, any more copies of that CD and then the, the value starts to go up I mean I just sold um, Snoop Dogg's album, the Doggy Style album, classic album, right? Sold, I sold it for $80. I had, I had listed it for $100. Guy made me an offer for $80, and I'm like, well, all right, I'll accept it. You know, it's just sitting here. The reason it is sold for so much is because it was actually a first issue. Obviously, it was mint condition, just no scratches. And so I sold that for $80, just things like that. All this stuff you got to take into account, but yes, convenience. So me personally, I find it way more convenient when I get in my car and I turn it on and the song just starts playing. I don't even got to worry about that. I don't even got to worry about queuing up songs, my stupid Bluetooth connecting, which I, okay, maybe other people don't have that problem with their bluetooth connecting but i know for me my uh, for some reason i can never like i can never get my bluetooth to connect on the first try uh but that could easily be avoided with an aux cord but then you got a cord in your car you know and so me i just turn on my car my cd is already in there when i put a cd in my car i usually leave it in there for like maybe a week maybe a week or two and I'll just be listening to the same album because sometimes, uh, and I've noticed this a lot of times too, is um, you got to re-listen to the album and some some songs will jump out at you and you'll realize, damn, I really like that song. You got to listen to it a couple. With that being said, uh, if you enjoyed the video and you learned something new, like, subscribe, do all that. Comment if you have any questions before you want to buy um a cd and you're like hey where should i get my cds from just leave a comment i'll respond uh, any questions anything i left out and i didn't say in this video and that's about it hope you guys enjoyed bye